Okay. So again, welcome to our uh, human resource management uh, course. No? So when we say human resource management, that is a collective term for all the formal system created to help uh, managing employees and other stakeholders within a company. Uh, human resource management is tasked with three main functions. So we have recruitment and, and compensation of employees, designating work, and ideally, the role of the human resource management is to find the best way to increase the productivity of an organization through its employees. Despite the ever-increasing rate of change in the corporate world, the human resource management role is not likely to change in a significant way. So until recently, a company's human resource department was categorized in the lower ranks. No? This is a surprising consideration or considering the crucial role that this department plays in replenishing and nourishing an organization's resources. Okay, So to discuss about the overview of the human resource management field, please uh, give him a round of a virtual applause to Sir De La Cruz. Sir, take it away. Uh, thank you, Dean, for the introduction. So good afternoon, classmates. So for the first topic, this is the overview of the HRM field. Uh, rinig naman po ba ako sa lahat? Yes, yes sir. Okay, okay, okay. I'll resume na po. So let's start. So what is HRM? So HRM pertains to human resources management. So of course, it is the manpower management of any section. So kung ikukompare po natin ang HRM, sa isang part ng katawan natin, it would be the cell-producing body of the organization. Bakit cell-producing? Because uh, yung HRM magpo-produce siya ng cells. So yung cells na yun would be the employees that they will process, they will hire, and they will manage all throughout the existence of the company. Next, so I'll start with the structure of the HRM. So... In our offices, as, as you can see, personnel management, human resources management, it's technically the same. There is the leader, the boss, the director, or however they name the highest authority figure of that office. Then, of course, all those employees under it. So next is I'll give a sample distribution. So first is the chief of the HRM division. It's like that's the final approving body when, of course, and uh, anything with per that pertains to an employee's employee will be processed. Next is, of course, the record section. So there is a record section. The record section will be in charge of handling the personnel 201 file. So this will include everything from your IDs, trainings, contracts, and everything. Next is the training section. So yung iba po dito, uh, depende kasi sa offices natin, pero usually, kung sino po yung nasa HRM, nasa human resource, yung personnel, sila rin na nag-handle ng training section. Uh, hindi naman automatically sila yung nagtitrain. Uh, sila lang yung para nagpa-process, nag ng training ng personnel, whether it be within the agency or outside the agency. Next is the discipline section. So meron tayo yung may mga committee kasi nito in other offices na in charge of handling the discipline. Pero in the end, uh, it's, it will be the HR who will process any form of sanction that will be given to employees who will go against the company policy. Next is the support staff. So these are the office staff. So they are the ones who process, who type the papers, arrange the contracts, uh, and prepare everything else that would that would be needed. Lastly is the interviewers and screeners. Of course, it include po ito. Binanggit ko lang dito na the preferred course is who graduated BS Psychology or BS Business Administration because I did some research lang yung hiring regarding sa HR. Uh, bakit sila? Because at this point, sila po yung mga pag nag-apply tayo, di ba we submit our papers. So usually, ang nag-receive po nun would be the support staff. The next is... Um, this is very common in private companies. Pag mag, may mag interview po sa'yo, they will ask you a set of questions. And then of course, uh, they will rate you depending on how you will answer them. Uh, I've seen this a lot kasi po sa, compare ko na ito, sa work ko po kasi, uh, we also part of our monitor, the facilities we monitor is the facilities for OFWs. 
So, may part kasi doon na may parang psych test din. And it's like a simulation of the interviews of companies. So, na-observe ko doon, they take notes, they put observations and everything. So, sa mga HR po natin, may mga ganyan din po. Sila yung mga nagsiscreen sa atin. But of course, itong structure pong ito, as you can see, this will depend on an office. Hindi po ito yung standard structure. This is just a sample structure. Next, so uh, this would be the HRM ethics. So ito yung mga values. This would pertain to the values. If you are part of the HRM team, uh, these are some of the most important values that you should have. So first is equality. So bakit equality? Alam naman po natin lahat to kung bakit kailangan equal ang nasa HR. Kasi alam naman natin, uh, there are times pag nandang si Padrino, si Tito, pag humingi ng backup, in-endorse ni ganito, in-endorse ni ganyan. But of course, if you are part of the HR team or the office that would process an employee, dapat nandun pa rin sa inyo equality. Hindi porkit in-endorse nito, is siya lang ipaprocess nyo. There should always, always be equality among all employees. Pero syempre, it will also depend on the qualifications of the employee. So as you can see, recommendation system naman would be accepted as long as the employee is qualified. So kung qualified sila, let's say three employees nag-apply, and then all those have uh, recommendations from different offices, sabi natin pantay-pantay ang nag-recommend, of course, there will still be a screening to be done between the three of them since qualified naman sila. Next is... Uh, strict uh, sa part pong ito, uh, if you are part of the HR team, you should be strict. Bakit? Kasi dapat po, uh, you should always do proper screening of personnel and proper review of the qualifications of that personnel. Kasi, um, let's say, if there you have a vacant position, and then of course, maraming mag-apply sa vacancy na yan. First is, dapat isi-screen na po nila yan. So, whoever would be qualified. So, pag hindi qualified, alam naman natin, tatanggalin unless given consideration. Next to that, uh, they should be strict with the requirements. Ito kasi yung mga nag kadalasang naging problem, especially in government offices. Um, pag nagkaroon na opening, na opening, let's say you are a contractual or job order, then nagkaroon na opening na permanent. So, when you apply for that permanency, in some cases, um, sa amin kasi, okay, I'll just give an example, observation. Job order siya, may contract pa siya. Hindi siya nag-resign. Nag-apply siya for the permanency. And na-process naman, natanggap na siya. So, nabigyan na siya ng appointment papers. Pero technically, yung contract niya, hindi na asikaso. So, ang nangyari po doon, nagkaroon siya ng problem. Kasi parang, parang double yan eh. Dalawa hawak mo, you're still being paid as a contractual and at the same time babayaran ka na rin for your position sa permanency. Pero yun naman is nasettle din naman sooner or later pero syempre dapat on the part of the HR they should have been strict and dapat they should all have already recommended that that employee or required actually na dapat nag, ano mo na yun, nag-resign na employee na yun if nalaman naman niya accepted na siya and of course he is to be given the appointment papers. Next uh, adaptability. Oh, this is one of the most important things if you are part of the HR. Since you you are part of the HR team, you would be talking with a variety of different applicants and, of course, present employees of the company. So as you can see, nakanood po dyan, patience in interviewing potential applicants. So we cannot expect na pag lahat ng kausap natin would be would have the same etiquette with each other. Meron dyan, palaban, minsan pa nga agresibo. So I will not describe na lang po. Pero of course, um, if you are part of the hiring uh, division or team, you should have lots of patience. Kasi hindi natin alam, uh, lalo na pag interview part na may mga dyan na kailangan talaga, meron naman dyan na aggressive. So next, uh, dapat marunong ka rin mag-adjust based on kung anong iutos ng nasa higher-ups natin. Especially if they have paperwork to back it up. What I mean is, if nagkaroon po, let's say nagkaroon ng hiring, then there were suddenly changes with that position, pero na-process mo na. You should be able to adapt in way 
that you would be able to connect with the potential applicants and inform them what has happened and what would be the next action to be done. Next is, of course, proper etiquette towards past, present, and potential employees. So, as, nga, as I said earlier, dapat marunong ka mag-adjust. Hindi lang dun sa mga i-hire pa lang, included na rin dyan yung mga employees na currently employed, lower in, sila lagi mo makakusap araw-araw, especially if they have concerns, questions, requests, or anything, any other else. So next, so this is the function of the HRM. So may nabanggit nga si Dean Abante earlier, yung sa hiring and sa training, sa ito po. So as you can see, this is a sample picture. So human resources, leadership, recruiting, performance evaluation, training, research skill, potential, and employee. So ito, connect-connect sila actually. Uh, yung si employee mo, if that employee... Uh, before you hire that employee po pala, before you recruit that employee, of course, you will have to be able to research on their background. Then next to that, if you're able to research on their background, you also have to know their skills. So these skills and the potentials could, and also the performance could be reviewed at the time na probationary employee. Kasi minsan HR pa rin na nag-handle niyan. Kasi even if the, let's say the, Permanent ones observe the probationary ones. They would also give their uh, observations, their reports about the probationary, if yung probationary ba yun is tutuloy or hindi. Next is, syempre, if that person, ha, kulang siya. So, meron din chance siya na magbibigay din, mag-offer din ng training so that mag-qualify din siya. And lastly, yun nga, uh, leadership. Uh, so, if you're part of the human resources, involved na to with regards to promotion. So, whoever would be the leader, kahit sino ka man, ano man ang position mo, in an, any office, dadaan, dadaan ka pa rin sa HR. Kahit na ikaw ang, let's say, the highest, ang papers mo, ipaprocess pa rin yan sa HR. So, ganyan kahalaga po ang human resources sa isang office. Next, so, hiring. So, we, uh, function isa po sa mga pinaka-main function na HR is hiring. So, involved in this is of course posting of job availability. So, alam naman natin yung mga pinopost na to sa mga inter-agency, pinopost nga minsan hard copies pa in different offices or pwede rin yun through online media such as e-jobs or job street. Next is receiving of application. Uh, connected po ito sa hiring, syempre, because all interested personnel will submit their applications to the HR. Next is screening. So, when you're, you are to hire a personnel, of course, isi-screen mo lahat ng qualified at hindi. Para hindi na sila asa pa na mag sila, then in the end, hindi sila makukontact. Dapat, uh, when you're on the screening stage, mahiwalay mo na agad, mahiwalay na agad nila which are those who are potential recruits and those who will not be accepted or rejected. Next is part ng hiring process is interview of applicants. So, yan na. So, let's say you pass the initial screening. The next step would be the interview of applicants. So, HR pa rin ang gumagawa nito. Hindi ko lang po na-add dito kasi, of course, after the interview, if pumasa na yung personnel, uh, HR would also handle all the paperwork of that first employee, especially the contract. So, part din po yun ng tasks na HRM, which is to prepare the contract of the employee. Next, orientation. So, pag na na employee, uh, the HR staff, uh, this, one, this is varying po ito. Uh. In some cases, meron po silang, ang uh, mga companies, they have their own team or minsan nga pong inuutusan na lang nila is yung senior. But on the case of this, uh, it's also the HR who will provide orientation. So the HR would provide orientation with regards to the duties and responsibilities of the employees. Next is the company rules and regulations. And then, of course, uh, very important to, uh, you orient, po, you orient din nila ang employees' rights. And then, the salary allocation. Ang mga usual cases nito is, uh, hindi naman po lahat na pag hire automatic salary agad. So, syempre, inform na Manila, there would be delays on your salary. It would be given maybe on the second month or on the third month kasi during processing pa. 
lastly, it's the housekeeping guidelines. So, sila rin po ang mag-orient niyan, yung mga basic guidelines natin. Pero, minsan, much, ano lang sila, they're just going to report what is like the tip of the iceberg. Then, the rest of it, ang magsasabi na po, is those who are in the office where the employee will be assigned. Next, so, promotion. So, HR din po ay nagpa-function ng promote, na, na, I mean, nagpa-process ng promotion ng employee. It can be kung ma-promote siya to a higher or position or let's say ma-promote nga siya to a higher position or to the lateral transfer but it would be on a different workplace. Ang nag-aasikasa po nito is HR. Siyempre, nasa kanila ang 201 files mo. So they will process all your requirements, inform you what you need to submit and the rest, they will handle it internally or with a uh, the co h ano po yung hr din ng isang office na possible na rilipatan mo an example good example of this is for example for ikaw you are working in the central office and then you applied for a lateral position or a higher position in a regional office so ang mangyari po diyan the hr of the central office will endorse you to the hr of the uh, regional office Next, so staff development and training. Kasi HR din po, may mga, minsan na sa kanila ang training section. So sa training section pong ito, uh, sila po kasi ang mag-aano, uh, mag-a-assign na kung sino ang mag-a-handle sa isang employee for training. Wait lang, saan ko ba ito? Ah yes, darating tayo dyan, sir, sa akin. So darating tayo dyan, sir Anthony, with, with regards to demotion. So, yan po, una-una ang training siya, sila mag assign Next is training opportunities. So may cases po nito, especially sa tayo na nasa government, yung LDI, yung mga learning and development uh, for information. So yun po, LDI. So HR din minsan ang nagbibigay na tungkol doon. Next is employees assistance with regards to training that was requested. So ito na po yung mga external trainings natin. So in cases of those na registered professionals such as doctors, nurses, engineers, architects, accountants and everything, uh, meron din naman natin ma maiiwasan na meron mga trainings na we would like, especially ngayon na kailangan natin ng CPD units, ito yung mga connected din sa society or yung mga in-offer po na ibang agencies. So if you are going to apply for those trainings, uh, you will also submit the documents with regards to that to the HR. Sometimes it is through the HR that it would be processed and wherein uh, approval would be given to you. It will depend if it will be on your shoulder by you or covered by the office. And of course, if it would be on official time or whatsoever else would be the agreement. Uh, included na rin dyan sa staff development and training, ang workshops, seminars, and conferences. And naghang. Next, so ito, this is just a summary of the HRM process. So as you can see, for recruitment, it can be internal or external, then it goes to selection. And then pag napili ka na, you will now be given the training. So it can be the OJT or the off the job. The next is whatever would be the result of your training, it would then be assessed. So let's say na puma Parehas lang po yan eh. Pag pumasa ka or hindi ka pumasa, they will also be giving, they will also motivate you. Motivate in what way? If, ano po, if you are past, maganda po ang performance mo, of course, you will, there would, recognition and benefits would be given to you. But on the other hand, if you fail, you will still be given a chance. They will motivate you and inform you what you lacked in and that would be it. Then the next part of the motivating would be compensating, maintaining labor, wait lang, hindi ko mabasa. Labor relations, healthy welfare and safety employees and compliance to labor laws. So part po ito na functions ng HR. Next, wait lang, hindi ko mabasa na keyboard. Next, so discipline. So ito na po, uh, HR pa rin na nag-handle ng suspension, demotion, and firing of personnel. So usually naman po ang basis nito, what is written in the guidelines, in the handbook, especially in the employee's handbook. 
So, may, may mga committee po na in charge of employees' discipline. Minsan, it can be external to the HR, but in the end, uh, let's say they have uh, investigated whatever the complaint of a client or anything, and then whatever would be the result of that investigation and their recommendation will be forwarded to the HR. Kasi di ba, usually, pag nangyari po yun, iba mag investiga And then if they would find any probable cause or anything, and they will determine what type of the uh, disciplinary action would be given to you, they will forward those recommendations to the HR. Then, of course, it is the HR who will draft letters that will be sent to you informing you of what the consequences would be of what happened to you. Devotion naman, yes, demotion, it usually occurs. It's also connected to that. So, sila rin na magpa-process niyan. Uh, let's say, in the government kasi, uh, I won't give names. Examples lang yan. Pag na-demote sila, they are in a higher position, then they have to be demoted. Because, or like, they are, they, someone filed a case against them. Of course, HR ang bahala maghanap kung saan ka pwedeng ilagay. But if they would be able to find a position for you, or if not, hanap pa nila in a place where you can be in a floating status. Alam na po natin yun, you still retain your position, but you will not be able to uh, function with that position. Floating ka muna, they will assign someone else on that. Lastly, firing of personnel. So, ito na yung pinakalast. Pag talagang tanggal ka na, uh, HR po ang mag inform sa sa'yo on whatever that decision would be. They would be the ones to give you what you will need pag natanggal ka sa isang company. Hindi naman technically pag natanggal ka, hindi ka makapag-apply sa iba. Sila rin yung parang mag issue sa inyo na parang certificate na on what happened. Um, ano, basta anything with regards to dismissal. Hindi ko na po i-in-depth masyado yun. Overview lang po ito. So next, handing complaints directed to the staff. So this is connected with the first one I presented. So sa si HR din dadaan ng mga complaints and implementation of corrective action staff. So yung implementation of disciplinary action, ano, detail to other officer agency, ayun po, nabanggit ko na siya Earlier, pag i-detail ka, ililipat ka, uh, HR mag-aasika so that they would coordinate with whoever is the HR on that ano po, area. Yun yung pwedeng sa promotion nga po or transfer. Next is so implementation. Ito po, disciplinary action. So this is, in disciplinary action, ito yung magbe-base sa recommendation ng whoever investigated your case. And then yung corrective action, they will be the ones to monitor Let's say you're, uh, you will be back on probation. They will be the ones to monitor you. Next. So, employee management. So, yung employee management, overall na po yan na lahat, starting from hiring up to the, ay nga po, a disciplinary action. But of course, with employee management, HR din na magbibigay ng employee benefits. Sila rin na mag-asikaso ng resignation or retirement mo. Uh, sila rin ang magbibigay ng vacancy announcement. So let's say ito yung mga inter-agency announcements. HR din ang maghahawak ng 201 files nyo. And then lastly, ayun nga po yung hindi ko na include earlier, contract management. So employee benefits pala, medyo i-discuss ko lang ito. Uh, sa case ko po kasi, I was jo a job order noong 2016 up to 2017 but natanggap nga po ako for permanency. Actually, uh, yung HR namin na nag-ayos po nung GSIS ko, Phil, help, and everything. Actually, tax number ng andala ko. Then, sila nag-inform sa akin na, okay na, meron ka na ito na yung mga numbers mo. Kukunin mo na lang yung mga cards mo. Included pa rin pag-ibig pala. Next. So, the importance of the HRM section. So, as I have said earlier, sila po ang self-producing organ ng isang company. So the cells are the employees. Next is, uh, they're in charge of the continuous replenishment of manpower. So in case na may employee tayo ma-reassign, mag na or matanggal, yung allocation ng, ng slot niya would be handled by the HR. So as you can see in the picture, di ba, those are drinks replenish. So that word itself, replenish. Kapag nawala, ira-replenish mo, papalitan mo. So in this case, kaya po itong naisip kong ilagay na picture dyan, 
pag nauhaw tayo, iinom tayo so that would replenish the fluids in our body. Next. Balancing of personnel. Uh, this pertains to how personnel are assigned depending on their qualifications and on the actual need of the company. So, minsan, it nangyari po ito kapag nangailangan na isang department and then HR ang maghahanap. Sila magsiscreen on those who are qualified. Then, you offer nila ang transfer if it's possible, ang paglipat. And of course, they would also give the reason why. Usually, ito po kasi dinadaan ito sa HR dahil nga po nasa HR at to one file, they have all the updates with regards to the trainings of the personnel or any other accomplishments. So in that way, madali man si screen ng mga employees na possible for transfer po. Next, so yun nga po, uh, binanggit ko lang din yung kanina, uh, to one file management, uh, of course, storage of past and present employee records. So hindi naman po automatically ang records natin is i-dispose agad. Meron po yung retention period. So let's say ikaw po lumipat ka pero hiningan ka ng Uh, parang service record mo from that company or office, mahingi mo pa rin yan sa HR. And employee equality management. So, yun nga po, this is connected to balancing. So, screening of employee qualification, the assignment of employees based on capability and also on recommendations sa balancing ito. Yung screening of employee employee qualification that would fall usually sa hiring. So, important din yan. Answering to the needs of each division as long as it's related to manpower. So, di ba nga po, HRM is human resource management. So, they manage the human resource which is the manpower. So, kapag ang isang division nag-request, usually they forward it to the HR. Si minsan po, HR, uh, pag may mga employees na hindi na-hire, they keep a pool. Kung baga contact, they also have that file. So, when there is an urgent need, they are able to provide suggestions uh, those who are qualified and they will be the ones to contact that. Very rare po yun. Pero nag-interview -inter nag rin po ako sa, sa mga taga-HR sabi, nagtanong ako actually, and sabi nga niya na they also keep records, especially if bigla magkaroon na opening, same position, rather than humana pa sila na iba, pwede naman silang kumuha from the pool, especially pag internal siya. Then, processing of employees' requests. So, di ba pag magre-request tayo such as yung service records or any employ uh, certificate of employment, usually sa personnel or sa HR din natin yan nire-request. So, yan is one of the most important, that, that is one of the most uh, functions din na HR, then, which is very important. So, bale, yun lang po ang report ko. Thank you po. Stay lang muna dyan, sir. Stay lang muna. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Okay, so once again, uh, as what uh, our presenter mentioned, that human resource management is a relatively new approach to managing people in an organization. So people are considered the key resource in this approach. It is concerned with the people dimension in management of an organization. So since the organization is the body of people, their acquisition, development of skills, motivation of higher level of attainments, as well as ensuring maintenance of their level of commitment are all significant activities. And these activities, of course, falls in the domain of human resource management. We need also to consider and uh, that ma HRM is a process which consists of four main activities, so namely acquisition, development, motivation, as well as maintenance of human resource. Then, uh, of course, the HR department thrives on specific principles as commitment, competence. No? And the major function of the human resource management, employee recruitment, no? including the uh, job analysis, sourcing, screening and selection, selection of the right candidates, no? employee orientation, employee development, and the human resource management refers to the process of recruiting and developing a company's workforce. So the human resource department is concerned with identifying the talent gaps in a company, advertising for positions, and evaluating potential candidates and hiring top talent. 
The human resource management does not just handle the recruitment of new employees. It also oversees redundancy for companies that want to downsize. No? Human resource management also oversees orientation programs to introduce new employees to the company's goals, objectives, and policies. Overall, human resource management guarantees the smooth running of employees within a company.